spoke earlier about culture. What kind of culture do you have at your organization? Well, culture is like the most important thing that I'm in charge of in the organization. Okay. And early on, I realized that in order for us to be a service centric business, which, you know, there are different kinds of engines that every business is. You're either a product oriented business or you're a service oriented business or you're in a lot of cases, a sales oriented business. A lot of people would argue that if you're in in business, you're in the sales business, which you are. But yeah. it's it's what you choose to focus on that makes your culture who they are. And I figured out really early on I was going to be a, a service oriented service engine business. And so I came up some with some rules early on that talked about uh, who we are. And it's really simple. I tell every new employee on their first week with us, they have a little meeting with me and I tell them, we, we only have three rules at Cindio. And they're very, very clear. Rule number one is, is that we get paid by our clients to take care of what is a problem for them. So come to work every day ready to solve problems. Okay. And rule number two is if you ever sweep a problem under the rug, you get one warning. Oh, refer to rule number one, we get paid to take care of those problems. And if you sweep them under the rug, they not only get big, they get expensive fast if we don't take care of them. And then rule number three actually happened in my office one day. So I added it to the list was if the words, that's not my job ever escape your lips, you can't work at Cyndia. And part of the reason for that is I, I was walking by a cubicle and a payroll person was talking to a client and she said, well, that's not my job. And then she hung up. Wow. Wow. And I said, I stopped it really stopped me in my tracks. And I said, why did you say that? She said, well, they were asking me something about benefits. And I told them it's not my job. I said, but then you hung up. She said, well, yeah, it's not my job. I said, what you just told the client was Cindy is not here to solve their problem in benefits. Not that you can't solve it. You told them Cindy Mm -hmm. can't solve that problem. So what what that client needs to hear is that's not my job. They need to hear, let me get you some help. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what service centric companies Mm -hmm. do. Not everybody's going to solve every problem, but we know where to get this problem solved internally. So let's help each other get there. So we really work really hard in our culture. First, believe it or not, we work really hard to take care of each other, get each other's back. If somebody has a problem and they can't solve it, get some help with somebody else in our company. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, is that we're there to take care of our clients. So if we take care of each other first, it allows us to take care of our clients better. And ultimately, obviously, we go to work every day to take care of our families, which is kind of why we go to work in the first place. So it, it, we really spend a lot of time and energy promoting taking care of each other and working <clears throat> to make sure that we can deliver the services our clients need and demand in a way that they are happy with us every day. I really love that stuff. 